Hello everyone, this is Tim with Paintball Tech. Uh, I've got a rebuild video for you guys today of the custom products or CP uh, V2 high pressure regulator. This is the most um, common of the uh, versions of high pressure regulator that CP has uh, out in the world today. Um, this one was made the longest uh, and is probably replaced more stock regs on paintball guns than any other reg um, from you know the early 2000s. A lot of people would put these on you know shockers, uh, egos, uh, things like that. So uh, real quick to get into this, the regulator is a moving base reg. So this is your adjustment point here. It uses a uh, eighth inch Allen key. Air comes in the bottom and that uh, adjustment screw moves the regulator base which seals against the bottom of the piston inside to change your pressure output uh, on the top. This is a three piece design. There's the lower piece here, the middle piece which has the piston, and the cap which uh, has the threads that screw into the U marker. So to take it apart, um, this piece is hex broached. Um, so you can use a 3 8 inch Allen key to stick inside and grip that to unscrew it. That will usually either unscrew the cap or unscrew the lower section with these two attached. Um, now if this isn't loose on yours, uh, you can usually grab this section with a, um, a piece of rubber or leather or something like that. or um, you know, stick it in a vise where you're gripping down towards the bottom here where it's thicker. You don't want to smash this in a vise because then you won't be able to obviously screw the cap back in. Um, and then you can use a the eighth inch key in the screw here to kind of use it as leverage to get this piece apart. This one's obviously loose. Most of them should be fairly loose. So, there's your cap. Midsection. Lower section, split all like that. Yeah, come back. So, the top piece has two O rings on it. The 015 on the outside. And then there's a 018 that seals against the, um, between the body halves. The midsection contains the main piston and the Belleville washers that are inside here. Um, and then there's also a uh, O-ring down here, another 18, and a number 10 that's housed inside. To get this piston out, sometimes you can whack it on a table and it'll come out. If it's being stubborn, like this one is, you use a, a punch or something like that to kind of push it out from the bottom. Just make sure that you do not damage this lip on the bottom of the piston because that seals against the red rake seat down here. And if this is damaged, you'll have weird overpressurizing issues. So, set the piston aside for now. Concentrate on the housing. Like I said, it has another number 18. And then inside this lower section here, there is the O-ring that it will seal against the bottom of the piston. This is a number 10. So you need a, a pick to get out. And then on the piston itself, this is a big fat O-ring. This is a 114. Now in the bottom section, you do have the red reg seat, which is inside a silver housing. Um, you can pull this housing out by taking an eighth inch wrench and screwing the adjustment screw all the way in. It'll push the silver housing up and then you can grab it with any of those pliers and pull it straight out. Inside the bottom half here there is a ball bearing which pushes on the bottom of this silver housing where the reg seat is, and then obviously the screw which pushes the ball bearing. The 
rake seat is inside this silver housing here, and the silver housing has a number 10 on the outside, which you very, very rarely need to replace, if ever. The only time you ever have to replace that is if you're getting a leak through the adjustment screw. Um, but for all intents and purposes, we're re replacing everything on this one, so. Start here at the bottom and work our way back up. So, there's number 10. There's a new one. And we're going to use uh, standard Dow 33 grease for this. Or, you know, plain Eclipse grease, Shocker Lube, you know, uh, Sleek, or grease, whatever you want to call it. Dye Lube, it's all the same. Grease this number 10 on the housing. Now, this goes back a very specific way. It has a ramp on it. So you want to make sure that that ramped edge um, goes towards the side where the um, screw is. So that the, the lower edge goes where the ball bearing is, the higher edge goes towards the screw. So easiest way to do it is grab it with a set of pliers, just lower it down so you know it's indexed properly and push it in with your finger. And then you can push it down with one finger and then slowly let the screw back out so that it lowers itself into the body like that. Now that's done. We'll go to the midsection. This is the old number 18. Here's a new one. Stretch it over the bottom. Here's the old number 10. Here's the new one. To put this one in, the easiest way is just stick your finger in the bottom so you have a base. The o-ring won't go all the way through. Push the o-ring in, it should kind of seat itself in the groove, and then either use a pick or an allen wrench or something to kind of push it in the rest of the way. Make sure that it's seated fully inside that groove right here. Now, I'm going to put some grease on that number 10. Easiest way to do is just rub it around inside the small opening. Use a pick or an allen key or something to wipe it around the edge onto the seal itself. Then on the inside of the housing, grease the walls so that when you put that piston back in, it's not moving over you know, a dry wall, basically. Here's the old 114. Here's the new one. Let's put that on the piston. Grease the 114 here. Now the way I grease these is, you know, you're basically putting enough on to cover the o-ring and fill the grooves on either side. So see how there's the groove here and the groove here. So you want to make sure that both sides of that o-ring um, have grease filled up in that o-ring gland. So there's plenty of it on there. And then you're going to want to put a little bit, with the help of maybe an Allen wrench or a punch, on this lower section here, because that section seals against that small o-ring at the bottom. So, I'm going to put the piston with the Belleville stack in, back into the middle section here. There should be uh, six Belleville washers, all facing opposite each other when they're on the piston. So, just kind of push that back down in the housing. Get your punch back out. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way through. I'll show you, you know, how to get that back in here in a second. Now on the top section you need a 015. You can use either 70 or 90. It doesn't really matter. That's the old one. Here's the new one. And then a new number 18. Now for reassembly... Um, to make sure that these parts all come apart easy, I like to put a little bit of grease around the inner edge where those 018s are going to seal. So that once those reg housing pieces go back together, it's seating again. You know, the O-rings are sealing with grease so that they don't get stuck real hard. Just 
screw the midsection at the bottom. Right. And then, um, like I said, that piston probably won't fit in all the way, just pushing it in. So what you do is screw down the top until it stops and it'll get kind of tight. And then just kind of wiggle it and it'll push the piston back all the way into the housing where it's supposed to go. You don't want to force it, but, you know, just wiggle it in and out and it'll reseat the piston kind of flat and push it in all the way. Then obviously you're going to clean off any excess grease on the outside. And your rig is ready to go for its next use. Um, obviously if you moved that screw, your pressure is going to be different. So if you have a rig tester, you know, you might want to test what it is before you do anything and then, um, you know, readjust it afterwards. Um, these regs are pretty rock solid. Uh, most of the time you don't really have to go through and rebuild it with all new seals. Um, you can get away with just pulling them apart and putting fresh grease on the, the main piston, the o, uh, 114 here in the middle and the 010 in the bottom of the midsection here. Um, that should be enough for most cases. If you are having issues with reg creep, it's generally going to be either a damaged piston or um, a damaged reg seat, which is that red seat here in the bottom. CP does have rebuild kits that include all the seals and uh, new reg seats. If you need them, you can contact uh, Custom Products directly um, at customproducts.us. Um, otherwise, should be fairly simple to get it rebuilt. Thank you very much. Have a good day.